I'm really curious about that time at Google and what you learned there and how it influenced the development for Warp. Yeah. So when you're working at Google and you're building a product like Google Sheets or Google Docs, like you're building it for scale is one thing and you're building it for quality. Um, you know, if you work on any Google product, it's going to be used at a minimum by millions and more likely by tens, hundreds of millions, or I think Google Docs now has a billion users. And so the type of engineering that you do to build something like that, um, it's like you have to build it so that it can support that type of load. And so that means like it's got to be sort of horizontally scalable on the server side. It means that you have to have a pretty rigorous process around QAing it. It has to work in 40 different languages or more. It has to support bi-directional layout. It, it has like enterprise customers who have requirements around data privacy, security, and the thing working offline. And so it just creates like, um, you know, kind of like a heavyweight engineering process, engineering mindset, where you do a lot of like upfront work to make sure the design of the thing is right before you build it. At Warp, I think we've like carried over, it's like you can't really do that at a startup. Like at, at a startup, the problem is not building for scale so much. The problem is building for like, for speed uh, and wanting to make sure you build something useful that people are going to find value in. However, we, I think, are different from most startups in that we did pick a long-term way of building Warp from the start. So Warp is built in Rust, um, which is not at all the fastest way to get a product to market. But it makes the product fast, right? It's built with a, like a, a custom a custom UI framework. Uh, and, um, you know, we do all the rendering all the way up to, you know, through like, it's all GPU accelerated. We have all the shader code, our own UI framework. And so we, you know, we built this all, actually, we built it before AI existed. So it's all built by hand. Although that's not how we're building it now in large part. Um, so I guess the lessons from Google Docs to me were like, you know, pick, pick what's important for building it right so that we can build something that will eventually scale. But we also, you know, you have to make some trade-offs in terms of working at a startup where you build some, some aspects for speed.